Praise the Lord, precious saints, and welcome to another daily prophetic utterance to start your day. Precious saints, today is day three of the prayer and fasting program that we are believing God for another Pentecost. Somebody say hallelujah. And the truth is God poured out His Spirit on the day of Pentecost. As He poured out His Spirit onto those 120 people, His closest disciples and those that followed Him, they were waiting with anticipation for the power of the Holy Spirit. And He poured out His Spirit upon all those who responded to the message after that outpouring. Somebody say hallelujah. The pouring out of the Spirit upon upon His disciples was done loudly and with no small disturbance. Hallelujah. The apostles spoke about Him. They spoke about Jesus Christ and people from many countries heard the message in their own language. Somebody say hallelujah. I want you to press in as this is the last day of prayer and fasting. Hallelujah. If this is your first time here, You can join this fast even from day one. You can start it at any time. The program is there. The Bible study is there. The teachings are there. And the prayers of self-deliverance are there are to see your breakthrough, to see your freedom. So as we press into this teaching today, I want you to focus on the Holy Spirit. I want you to focus on as though the Lord Himself was speaking to you today. So let's get into this message and just focus on the voice of the message and not on me so that you can see your breakthrough, that you can see your change, that you can see even your family being shaken because we need another Pentecost like never before. I want you to press in. I want you to press in on this last day. Press in until the end. You've got this far. You can press on. If you're just starting today, then press on. Keep pressing on and see God move in this hour. Hallelujah. The Bible says, according to Acts chapter 2, verses 1 onwards, it says, when the day of Pentecost had fully come, they were all with one accord in one place. And suddenly there came a sound from heaven as of a rushing mighty wind, and it filled the whole house where they were sitting. And then there appeared to them divided tongues as of fire, and one sat upon each of them, and they were all filled with the Holy Spirit. Spirit and began to speak with other tongues as the Spirit gave them utterance. Somebody say, praise the Lord, precious saints. Just as it was on the day of Pentecost, God desires to baptize you, not just today, but each and every day, precious saints. Yes, He wants to baptize you in His presence by the power of His Spirit. Yes, He desires to ignite repentance, revival, fire within you so that the fire in your hands can be used to heal the sick and to cast out devils, precious saints. You are a child of God, for His throne is like a fiery flame. And when you look Look to Jesus today, you will see the flames of fire that will ignite the flames within your eyes, within your heart, within your belly, within your mouth and within your feet because his word will stir up you like a fire for he will bring tongues of fire to touch tongues of flesh that will and may declare his word that you may declare and prophesy under the unction of His Spirit. For His Word is like fire that burns within our bones. And as you desire more of Jesus, as you desire Jesus as Lord more each and every single day, you shall become His ministers of flame that ignite the truth of His Word in each 
person's heart that hears your utterance of your confession of your testimony to each person for he will deliver you by his fire precious saints yes as his fire protects us and covers us like a blanket for he is coming to set his remnant church ablaze spiritually for it is a fire that burns out of the old from us it burns the old to get the church ready for the new thing that God is doing within this hour this fire of the Holy Spirit is the fire that burns out the guilt and the shame of past failures and anything built by man shall be burnt up in order for the new structure to be built by his spirit and through his word that's why his word says according to psalm 127 verse 1 unless the lord builds the house his builders labor in vain unless the lord protects the city its watchmen shall stand guard in vain for he will send his fiery ministers of flame to speak his word with power in the season precious saints but remember purification starts in the heart of every believer and goes through also the remnant church for he sends his spirit to purify our lives with his fire that's right and like a laundress soap he will clean up each person's ways and expose those that are not willing to repent therefore we cannot play also with his fire or treat fire with a casual attitude for just like the sons of Aaron they treated the holy things as common but quickly judgment came upon them his fire comes to purify his fire comes to sanctify his fire comes to cleanse us his fire is a symbol of his presence and the instrument of his power it either comes to bring holiness or to destroy that which is wicked he also removes the guilt and the shame of your previous defeated life precious saints because the devil is an accuser of the brethren and he will remind you of your past failings but the holy spirit comes to destroy those things hallelujah the fire of sanctification it comes to set us apart to bring separation from the worldly from the secular and sinful and set us apart for his sacred purpose the fire of sanctification is the death of our self nature for he has called his saints to a place of holiness those things that are within your character that is not a characteristic of him will be extracted as you yield yourself to the spirit of the living God each and every day no matter what darkness is trying to surround you today precious saints the Lord who is the God that answers by fire he will deliver you fire is the passion of your creator's heart so when he speaks things take place somebody say hallelujah he is the God that responds with lightning and thunder who has placed the stars in their place and positioned the sun and the moon to cause day and night he has called us his fire brands that have been commissioned from his most holy fire the same God who branded this call upon Moses by the fiery bush that never burnt out it was also shown upon the prophet Elijah before the prophets of Baal when he not only answered by fire but he devoured the wood he devoured the hay he devoured the stumble and even the structures of men did not stand the fire even devoured the water and licked the dust precious saints when the prophet Isaiah beheld his majesty and behold his holiness he suddenly became aware that he was a man of unclean lips and that he would die but the Lord he sent his messenger to place a call upon 
upon his lips to cleanse him. And when King Solomon placed a sacrifice upon the altar on completion of the temple, his fire came down from heaven and consumed the burnt offering and the sacrifice that his glory may fill the house. The priests even who ministered could no longer minister because the Lord of the work was present and they laid prostrate on the floor in his presence. He is the all-consuming fire and mountains shall wax in his presence and seas will roar. His fire shall burn up the idols of our lives. The works of witchcraft and occultism even within your city shall be burned in his fire and all that is an abomination to him. His fire is released in Zion and burns upon the spirits of lust and perversion all around us and as he will destroy it also over your life, over your family, over your ministries, over your church, over your cities, over your state and over your nations this day. Yes, his flame burns up wicked spirits in the city and around our lives and as his glory kindles, a burning fire comes. His glorious voice is heard in our cities, shows even lightning down his arm and with a flame of devouring fire with scattering tempest and hailstone who can stand in his presence and behold his beauty demons are exposed and cast out of our lives by his fire and he shall release hot thunderbolts against the enemies of every city in the name of his son Jesus Christ for even if the pagan shall try to call upon the name of their gods we shall call upon the name of the Lord and the God that answers by fire let him be God today and he shall show up for when we learn to walk in his authority we shall call upon his fire from heaven against all principalities against the powers of the air against wickedness in high places against powers thrones and dominions it will also destroy every power of infirmity and heal all of our wounds for he shall remove the guilt and shame of your past mistakes every poisonous arrow that has been launched at you and your family it shall be rendered null void ineffective powerless and useless from today for he shall release the fire against the locusts that have even eaten away at your blessings and he shall return to you everything the devourer has taken we must be reliant solely on his spirit to empower us who adds the super to our natural to so that we can walk in the supernatural precious saints the bible says according to Zechariah 4 verse seven so he said to me this is a word to Zerubbabel not by might nor by power but my spirit says the Lord God almighty nothing shall fail what he has promised us nothing shall fail of his word that he has given unto us child of God not one of his words shall fail ever for he is the beginning he is the end and as he has spoken it shall be for he spoke forth everything from within himself he spoke it all and he has never failed us child of God he has never not performed his will upon the earth he has never missed anything he has never missed any mark or he has never missed anyone he is God he is eternal his word is eternal his word is true and his word has found room with in us children of God for he shall hearken unto us this day and he shall ignite in us a new way today as we wait upon him to pour out his spirit that we wait upon him he will answer our requests for he will pour out his spirit today in a powerful way yes he shall lay upon you this day authority from on high such as you have not known because 
now you have become fully grown for he has seen your desire for him and he has seen your stature he has seen and watched your growth it is he who has made us ready for what is to come and we have been tested with what we have passed through God will and night those things he is a God that answers by fire and his fire shall be a wall of protection that surrounds us for as we pursue him and desire his flames of revival it shall flow from our lips and it is he who shall shut the mouth of the lions and every false witness and every false witness that is spoken against his people his fire shall fall and his wind shall blow as his glory comes down and saturates us in his presence for his holy fire is that consumes our entire being it's time to call upon the Lord all who are thirsty for the God that answers by fire desires to know us more and more May the refiner's fire fall and burn upon all and everything that is not of him within our lives today as we believe for another Pentecost to fall upon us. We need to allow God to baptize us with this Holy Spirit today. If you have never had it, you can have it today. If you are a backslider and you once had it, you can have it even right now. If you have it, God wants to refill you to the brim today with his spirit. The baptism of fire that the early church had could not be put out. Satan tried to stop the fires of the Holy Spirit, but the fire got hotter, but the fire got brighter, and the fire spread even more quickly. The fires of revival broke out everywhere the disciples went and I believe that God wants to light a match and ignite a greater fire in us today especially those that hunger and thirst for him I believe he wants to pour out his spirit in a greater measure than ever before and you can be a recipient of this outpouring today if you hunger and thirst for more of God as you are pressing into God as you are seeking God we are believing. God to visit you in a powerful way. Oh Lord, I pray that you would come and touch your people from the top of their head to the soles of their feet today. Oh Lord, that they may encounter you, that they may know you today in the name of Jesus Christ. Oh Lord, I pray that you will touch your people. Heavenly Father, we come before you this very day as we lift up each person that is listening unto you today to your heavenly throne. Lord, we pray that it shall be a blessing unto those that hear this utterance and these words today. And may they also receive a divine impartation today in the mighty name of your Son, Jesus Christ. We pray and believe. Father, you are life. You are love. You are pure fire, real fire. Change us, O Lord and take our words away and give us your fire today. Take our intellect away, so to speak, and make us like children who live in you and through you and make us real, O Lord. Burn through our pride and our defense with your consuming fire. Make us real, Lord, and make us ablaze with your fire today. Baptize us Father, in the eternal fire of your love, Lord, release your fire and burn up the works of darkness within our life today in the name of Jesus Christ. Lord, that you would burn any works of evil and wicked spirits that may be operating. Come, Holy Spirit, and fill the hearts of your faithful and enkindle them the fire of your love. Send forth your spirit and they shall be created and you will renew the faith of the earth. Help us to walk in you, the spirit of the living God. We ask you to come that you may grow good fruits within our life. You are the one who produces those within us. The love, the joy, the peace, the patience, the kindness, the goodness, 
goodness, the faithfulness, the gentleness and self-control. We cannot live without these things within our life and we need you. Baptize us with the Holy Spirit right now in the name of Jesus Christ. Baptize us, Lord, and send us your Holy Spirit upon us with the power even to battle the enemy and to do good works that you have set before us to do. Holy Spirit, refine our hearts with the flame of your fire, the fire that which has also refined the hearts of millions before, the fire that enables us to find all things in Christ Jesus, the fire that provokes every heart to run towards God Almighty. Holy Spirit, remove carnal desires and impurities from our hearts. Holy Spirit, incline our hearts towards Christ and towards those things which are above. Holy Spirit, purify our minds and align our moral, even principles to the truth of your word and put in our hearts a sense of justice, truth, mercy and compassion even for the lost. Lord Jesus, baptize us now in the Holy Spirit. We receive the baptism of the Holy Spirit even right now by faith in your word. May the anointing and glory and the power of God come upon us and into our lives even right now and may we be empowered for service from this day forth in the name of Jesus Christ. Holy Spirit, come and baptize us today. Oh, Holy Spirit, we cry out to you. Yes, Lord, the same tongues of fire that touched the tongues of flesh on the day of Pentecost. We receive tongues of fire today that we may pray even to you and worship you in spirit and in truth to speak directly even to the evil and wicked spirits in, in a new authority from today. In your presence, we pray today that you would fill us up, that we we would be overflowing today in the name of Jesus Christ. Lord, we pray that each person, you may help them to receive the promise of this last day's anointing, Lord Jesus, through the areas, even in the prophetic gifting, even in the healing gift in miracles and signs and wonders. Oh Lord, let the gift of discernment also in every nine gift of the Holy Spirit be imparted upon your people today in the name of Jesus Christ. Come and touch your people. Lord, I pray in the name of Jesus Christ, we touch right now the holy things of God. Let the fire of God come down upon us and touch us today. Oh Lord, ignite the calling with your fire. Oh Lord, anoint us to pray without ceasing. Oh Lord, establish us, Lord, as your holy people. Oh Lord, restore our spiritual eyes right now in the name of Jesus Christ. Let the anointing to excel in our spiritual and physical life fall upon us today in the name of Jesus Christ. Oh, Holy Spirit, breathe on us now. Oh, Holy Spirit, send your fire and ignite us to be and move all that you have called us to be today. Let the fire of the Holy Spirit also come against every satanic attack right now in the name of Jesus Christ. Kindle in us the fire of your love. Kindle in us the fire of charity, the fire of compassion. Oh Lord, I pray for a zealousness to stir up within each people today in the name of Jesus Christ. Lord, we pray that as we adore you, impart your gift of prophecy into our spirits today. Stir up our spirits with prophetic vision, fresh vision. Deepen your gift of prophecy upon our spirit today. Oh Lord, Lord, impart your wisdom. Lord, impart your Holy Spirit deeper. Impart your deep knowledge as we fall upon the, right now. We fall under your power right now and submit ourselves to your presence, oh Lord. Oh Lord, come and touch your people for the Spirit of God. Lord, is going to come down upon us and touch each person and we receive this prophetic vision and impartation of the prophetic. Lord, I pray that you would impart to those people that need to be baptized today with your Holy Spirit, where the tongues of fire I come to touch the tongues of flesh. Lord, I pray in the name of Jesus, you would anoint that tongue right now. Oh, Lord, I 
ya rabosu arama mama ya rabosu ya rabasi ya rabosu ya rabasi ya rabosu come and touch your people today o rabasi ya rabosu ya rabosu come and touch them come and fill them today with your glory with your presence right now from the top of their head to the soles of their feet o lord come and touch them and fill them anew today fill them with your anointing fill them with your praise and your glory today as the holy spirit is touching them oh holy spirit come and touch them and make them the vessel make them a vessel a channel for signs and wonders lord today in the name of jesus god lord i pray even for the gift of healing and deliverance to come upon them the gift of discernment of spirits and all nine gifts of the holy spirit you promised to pour out your spirit on all flesh and lord we know that you are god and you will pour out your spirit upon us we desire to walk in the reality of the ministry of jesus christ on a daily basis yes lord we want to see those things that you desire us to have oh lord i pray that you would heal each person that you would heal every disease lord that every demon shall be cast out right now in the name of jesus christ come and touch your people today oh lord come and touch your people fill them with your fire today come and touch them and remove the guilt and shame of the past also today in the name of jesus christ we want your revelations we want your visions we want your dreams lord let those lord not be our hands we want your revelation we want your visions we want your dreams let these not be our hands but that let them be your hands oh lord i pray in the name of jesus christ lord that we will do what you've called us to do let your fire fall let the anointing fall today let us also go to a higher levels in you today in the name of jesus christ we thank you today that even as you're teaching us to desire more of god on this day of pentecost oh god send another pentecost oh god touch your people oh god fill your people oh god surround your people oh god do a new thing today oh lord i pray in the name of jesus out with the old and in with the new today we desire more of you like never before in the name of jesus christ come and touch your people that desire you oh lord oh god come and touch your people today oh god come and touch your people and fill them in the name of jesus oh lord come and touch them oh god come and fill them today they need more of you they need more of you and less of ourselves today in the name of jesus christ oh god i pray Oh, Holy Spirit, even when we do not know what to pray, you pray on our behalf. Come and touch your people today. You know their needs, oh God. You know their needs, oh God. Oh God, come and touch your people. Let your fire fall. Let your fire fall today. Come and touch your people. Come and touch your people today. Come and touch them. Come and fill them. Come and touch them. Release your fire. Release your fire. Release your fire today in the name of Jesus. Come and touch them and fill them today in Jesus mighty name we pray and believe amen and amen this is pastor robert clancy from narrow path ministries in perth western australia it is time to catch the fire of repentance revival as we prepare for the coming of our lord jesus christ shalom 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 precious saints if you've liked this today i encourage you to subscribe to the youtube channel follow
follow us on Rumble, follow us on Facebook and Instagram, Precious Saints. You can also follow us on our website, repentancerevival.com, Precious Saints. Today is day three. Today is day three of more of the Holy Spirit. We're asking for another Pentecost. If you're just coming across this, you can join this fast. Precious Saints, you must go through the program and the Bible study. Otherwise, you're not even receiving the fullness of what God wants to impart to you and the self-deliverance and the impartation and the blessings that come from joining the whole aspect of it. We, 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 we desire for you to have the fullness of God in every measure. So I encourage you to press in, listen to this prayer more than once, send it to someone else, start the program at any time. God is with you. Well, God is going to touch you and fill you in a deeper way from my family to yours. God bless you. We love you. We are praying for you, precious saints. Shalom, shalom, shalom.